Well, this is something a little bit different for my channel. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything like this before, but this is kind of a book review, although it's not really. I found this amazing book, and I'll tell you how I found this in a minute. But I thought that uh, anyone is interested in workshop practices, metalworking, if you're not aware of these, these books, then hopefully you will be after this video. So, what is it? Well, it's Shop Theory from the Henry Ford Trade School. Now, I'll read you the note inside the cover in a minute, which will explain, you know, exactly what these things are. But I first found out about these about a month ago. I was watching an excellent video by Dave Richards. If you've uh, watched my channel, you'll know I'm a huge fan of the old steam pad machine shop. And he had a job in his shop where he needed to recreate a gear for an old fuel pump, basically. And I don't mean a car fuel pump. I'm talking about the fuel pumps that pump fuel out of the ground and into your tank. You know, those kind of fuel pumps. And he needed to uh, work out the diametric pitch for this, for this gear. And he brought out his copy of this book and it sh showed the equations that you needed to work all that out. Anyway, he showed this book and he, and he sort of said what it was. And, and, and I was sort of just fascinated by this. So I went online and it turns out that these things are available on eBay, obviously mainly in the States because this is where it was made. But these, these books are just, uh, well, they're just incredible. So this is what's basically written inside the front cover. Um, this is one of a series of lesson sheets prepared by instructors in the Ford schools for use in their classes. The Ford Apprentice School was organised in 1913 to train Ford employees in the metal trades. Henry Ford Trade School was founded in 1916 to train mechanics and make it possible for a young boy to partially support himself while attending school. And it goes on, the rest of it. But this is the, uh, I think this is the 1940, yeah, this is the, let me come back out again. This is the 1941 revised edition. Let's move that across a bit. There we go. Yeah, this is the, the revised 1941 edition. But what's so brilliant about these books is it just tells you everything that you need to know. Uh, I mean, you know, it's absolutely everything is in here and, and it's all very well laid out. It's extremely well written. Uh, and, and if you're if you're learning, if you're just starting out, then it just it just goes through everything that you that you would need to know. And it's brilliantly illustrated, as you can see. Uh, it starts off with small tools, uh, and, it, and literally goes into to you know very very basic stuff like what is a circle, how do you define a circle, and things like that. Which, all right, you might think, well, do you need to know this? Well, yeah, but some of it is actually really bloody useful. And as I said, it's really really well illustrated. Uh, some of the uh, chapters have uh, test sh sheets at, at the end where they ask you questions. Basically, you go through to see whether you picked up and learnt what you what 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 the chapter was trying to teach you. But it is it is just an absolutely brilliant book. So if there's anyone out there, any engineers out there that have got their own shops or building up their own shops, this is the book to have. Trust, trust me. This is this is absolutely bloody brilliant. I mean, I'm I'm just reading, working my way through it because I find the whole thing fascinating. But you can see from this what's in it, and it and it just covers absolutely everything. Uh, you know, e even down to sort of such basics as the various different types of chisels and what you should use them for. It's it's it is a truly a truly amazing piece of piece of work. This, so if you can get yourselves one of these, they're not horrendously expensive. Uh, they there's various different editions, uh, and they and the, there's always quite a few, or seems to be always quite a few on eBay. It, it obviously it goes into lathes and milling machines and all sorts of stuff, and uh, gearing. This is the page that Dave showed on his video. Let's pull the marker out, and this is. Uh, I think that was the one he went for, diametrical pitch, which is, and th these letters are described over here. So that's the di diametrical pitch is N, which is, where are we? Oh yeah, N, so it's, it's a number of teeth, plus two over O, which is the outside diameter. So yeah, it, it just is fantastic for, for, the, for, the, for the amount of information that's in it. And this is, um, where he went to um, uh, for the, uh, the the whole plate. So 
as you can see, this thing is just full of amazing information for the workshop and, and anyone who's going to work in metal work. And yes, it's a very old book, but it doesn't matter. All of this is still applicable today. You know? So there you go. I just thought I'd show this because if anyone out there wasn't aware of these books, then, you know, <laughs> um, you are now. <laughs> so it's Shop Theory from the Henry Ford Trade School, Dearborn, Michigan. I thoroughly recommend you get one of these or at least have a, have a look at one or borrow one because they are fantastic resources. So thanks again to Dave for actually showing this book on his channel. I wouldn't have known about it had it not been for him. And uh, well, that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.